Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton and today I want to talk about electric potential difference. Our goals are going to be to define and calculate electric potential energy and to define and calculate electric potential difference. Then to round out our discussion, we'll utilize electron volts as a unit of energy when we're dealing with very small charges moving through a potential difference. So why don't we dive right in? When you move a charge in an electric field, you have to do work. You apply a force through some amount of distance or displacement. A force over a displacement is work. And if you do work on something, you give it energy. So in this case, this would be electric potential energy. We use the symbol capital W quite often for electric potential energy. Um, we also use that for work. So the work done on an object is the electric potential energy you give it. Or if it has electric potential energy and it does work, the amount of work it does gets subtracted from its electric potential energy. The work done per unit charge in moving a charge between these two points in the electric field is known as the electric potential difference. And we give that the symbol capital V. The units of electric potential difference are probably familiar to you. We know those as volts. So, one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb of charge. We can relate these using the formula capital V for electric potential difference is the work done or the electric potential energy divided by the charge in coulombs. So, let's take a look here. If we wanted to apply this, a potential difference of 10 volts exists between two points A and B within an electric field. What is the magnitude of the charge that requires 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules of work to move it from A and B? Well, I'm going to start by writing what I'm given. Potential difference of 10 volts, so V is 10 volts. What is the magnitude of charge that requires 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules of work? So W, our work, is 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules, and we're looking for charge. We can use our relationship. V equals W over Q. Now we solve for the charge. Charge then must be work over voltage. I substitute in with units. 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules over 10 volts gives me a charge of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs. Let's take a look at another one, this time solving for the work or energy. How much electrical energy is required to move a 4 microcoulomb charge through a potential difference of 36 volts? Well, we're looking for electrical energy. We know our charge is 4 microcoulombs, or 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, and our potential difference is 36 volts. We can use the same relationship again, V equals W over Q, this time solving for W. W must be QV, which will be 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs times our voltage of 36 volts. Multiply those together, 4 times 10 to the minus 6 times 36, and I get 1.44 times 10 to the minus 4 joules. All right, why don't we try yet another one? This time, let's solve for the electric potential difference. If one joule of work, W equals one joule, is required to move one coulomb of charge, so Q equals one coulomb, between two points in the electric field, find the potential difference. All right, our relationship, potential difference is work or energy over charge. That's going to be one joule over one coulomb, or the definition of one volt. All right. One last one where we'll solve for electric potential difference here. In an electric field, 0.9 joules of work is required to bring 0.45 coulombs of charge from point A to point B. What is the electric potential difference between points A and B? Well, same relationship, V equals W over Q, or 0.9 joules over 0.45 coulombs 0.9 over 0.45 will give me 2, and 1 joule per coulomb is the definition of a volt. So 2 volts here. So, fairly straightforward problem solving here. 
But oftentimes when you're dealing with electricity, you're dealing with much smaller charges. A coulomb is a very large amount of charge. And when you're dealing with smaller charges, then you have a much smaller amount of energy typically. So we're going to also talk about a non-SI unit of energy known as the electron volt. An electron volt is a unit of electrical worker energy that is much smaller than a joule. It's actually the energy needed to move one elementary charge or the charge on a proton through a potential difference of one volt. So one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Or if you think of it this way, if work is charge times potential difference, the amount of work or energy will be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, the elementary charge times 1 volt, which would be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. If instead we wrote our charge in terms of elementary charges, Q is 1 elementary charge times 1 volt, we would get 1 electron volt, E capital V. These are the same. They're equivalent. Now, joules is the SI unit. So when you go to use these in other formulas, if you want to stay consistent with the SI units, you need to put your worker energy into joules. But oftentimes, for small charges, electron volts is a more convenient unit of discussing these sorts of things. Let's try a couple problems just to make sure we understand. A single proton is moved through a potential difference of 10 volts in an electric field. How much work in electron volts was required to move this charge? Okay, our work is equal to QV, charge times potential difference. Our charge here, the charge on a proton, is one elementary charge, or 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Because we want this in electron volts, we'll leave it as elementary charges, 1E. The difference of 10 volts will give us 10 electron volts. Okay, but what do you do if you have a slightly larger charge, or you're not given your charge in terms of elementary charges? Now we have a charge of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs, which is moved through a potential difference of 10 volts in the electric field. How much work in electron volts is required to move this charge? Well, we'll find work the same way. Charge times potential difference, or 2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs, times 10 volts is 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules. But we want our answer in electron volts. So I can do a unit conversion, remembering that 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So I'll multiply this by 1 electron volt over 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, which is really just multiplying by 1, just written a different way. The joules make a ratio of 1 and I will be left with an answer of about 1.25 times 10 to the 17th, and my units here are electron volts. So I solved for my work in joules first, and then converted to electron volts. Hopefully this gets you a good start on electric potential difference and its relationship to electrical potential energy, as well as the unit of electron volts. And if you're looking for more problems, more help, or tutorials, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks so much and make it a great day.